semi-final showdown at the Basingstoke Arena on Wednesday with the second leg of the EPL Cup seeing the Bison face the Slough Jets. Slough took the first leg by the odd goal in five and the Bison script didn't go according to plan early here. Frank is set back on Rick using skill and strength to set up the on-rushing Matt Tawalski to make it 4-2 on aggregate. The host needed a spark to their game and Nicky Watts set about trying to provide some. After first tangling with all Bison boy Mindy Kiras, him and Aaron Connolly decided to deliver some showtime action at centre ice. Fight over and a show of respect between the pair on the benches after both landing some good blows. Maybe the intensity got too much for some, but Adam Greener couldn't find a willing partner with Greg Chambers, happy to laugh with each blow. Second period saw a different story for the Bison. Despite taking a stick on the play, Yaroslav Chesky still was able to get the feed off to Miller, who did the rest to bring the scores level on the night. Maybe not exactly going where he wanted it to, but they all count. On Saturday, the Bison found themselves without Joe Miller after a match penalty for high sticking. The Jets must be thanking their lucky stars that Vaparek got away with this one on Watt. The Bison delivered a punishment of their own though with a wonderful free-flowing move. From one end of the ice to the other, Watt was given the final feed for Chesky's finish to light up the Bison faithful for all on aggregate. Wales with an off the play cross check to Greener. Neither side could be separated after overtime, leaving the dreaded penalty shots. 
Chesky went first for the Bison following the Jets' first miss. And he tried to pull Rockman wide. Instead, the number 45 neatly shut the door on the blocker side to tie it at 0-0. Darius Pliskauskas was up next for the Jets, but with Stevie Lowe filling the bottom half of the goal, the Lithuanian had nowhere to go. Miller, a goal scorer on the night, tried to put the Bison in front after the second round, with Rockman leaving the gap over the glove. The Welshman just missed the target though. Disaster then struck for the hosts. Vaparik may be lucky to have avoided a high stick call earlier in the game, biding his time before firing the Jets ahead. That left the Bison's fate in the cup to Chambers. Waiting for Rockman to make the first move, it never came. A pad save, meaning the Jets go through to the final. The Bison left a battle for the league and playoffs.